back up. That is the one bit C. It's a little dev board with two interesting features. First, it has floating point. It's awesome to be able to write audio code in floating point. Second, the one bit C has a JTAG connector. You can attach it black magic probe and debug your firmware with GDB. That's the one bit C. This is the one up. It's not your father's game console. This is your father's game console. The one up has a socket for a one bit C. This one up is a prototype. There are only three of them in the world. Prototypes expose problems. One problem we found is that the headphone jack is fragile. It's broken off from two of the three one-ups. We also found out that the audio section had some design flaws. This is a prototype of the one-ups new audio section with a sturdier jack. It needed some rework. And this is the same circuit on a smaller board. It solders onto the one bitsy. It's a stopgap. The audio section will be integrated onto the main board of the next revision, but this gets us working audio on the prototypes. The STM32 chip we're using has two 12-bit digital analog converters. We use those for audio output. It's lo-fi, but the original Game Boy only had 4-bit audio. Mono. I wrote the audio driver, then I designed the new audio board, and then I needed a cool audio demo to show it off. Let's back up. Seven years before Nintendo introduced the Game Boy, Dr. James Moore created a unique sound for Lucasfilm. He called it Deep Note. I'd been thinking about how it might be interesting to play a melody with the deep note sound. That idea percolated for years until the one-up needed an audio demo. So here's Deep Synth. It's a synthesizer. It makes the deep note sound, but you can play it. Let's go back. Here's Deep Synth again. <laughs> 